Do you want to be a terror raid master? I have been to countless raids with friends, viewers, and my Pokemons. I have multiple 100 level Pokemon that tackled battles since day two of release because I completed the game in 19 hours. Just flexing. Anyways, I EV trained all my Pokemon with the power of money. And during the stream, there are instances where I would be carrying people. And they're not even close to level 70 in six star raids. We're gonna go over the general strategy, which can be applied to all your raids. You want to look at the Pokemon you are facing. You have to play who's that Pokemon and figure out what the typing is. You want a Pokemon that can resist at least one of those typings, or at least not take any super effective attacks from them. Next, you will think about the Terra type. And if you can bring a Pokemon that can match what I said meant I mentioned earlier defensively but also offensively do damage to its terror type. It's okay if you can't, because the important thing is that you live, because if you faint, you lose a chunk of time if you faint. Now, let's go over battle strat. Try to at least have one setup move, because for the first one turn, or even better two turns, even better three turns, do some setup. That means do a buff that can buff your attack with Swords Dance or Nasty Plot, or you can use Helping Hand to buff your allies, or you can even just debuff the boss with Screech or Metal Sound. All of this kind of depends on your physical attacker or a special attacker and your teammates as well. You can also taunt the boss to prevent them from doing status moves or even buff themselves. Taunt does require some more coordination because you don't want multiple taunts to happening. Only one will be in effect. And if you don't have a set of moves, you can always cheer. Cheers don't disappear on death or boss notification, but be careful. You only get three of those. All right, some raids require you to be strategic when you want to buff or debuff. Let's just say, example, that false dragon. Sometimes it actually just cleanses on turn one or turn two, or even at the beginning of turn three. So maybe you don't want to do screech or metal sound in the beginning. And most raids have the logic change when they get attacked. So if you want to set up as much as you can and then do damage in one shot. For example, Dragonite, if he gets hit, he does a cleanse, and then there you waste all your screeches and stuff. And even if you do, if they do live, you do a huge chunk of their HP. And then, of course, when they cast shields, they're most likely to cleanse themselves anyways and clear buffs and or abilities. And sometimes, if you do take too long, they go straight into shields and then their logic just switches and you don't want to linger too long because of that happening. And in shield mode, they take reduced damage unless it's a terrestrialized attack. Your attack needs to match the terror type that you terrestrialize into for the extra damage. It will make like a battle cry animation when it matches. Yeah, don't be afraid to go in first, try it out, see what kind of patterns, and then adjust right bring maybe you gotta change up to pokemon maybe you gotta change up if you want to buff or debuff first etc i'm doing this video because i've seen a lot of people just coming in and they don't actually like set up in the beginning and that could cost the match because then the sh they'll be they set up like dragon dance already and then you're already getting sweeped left and right so be careful and uh, hopefully this video helps you out and with that later days